Hey, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. Um, today's example is the uh, Spad S XIII or 13. Um, this is obviously the generic sort of Chinese brand once again that I've got uh, the, my biplane purchases from. Um, this, uh, this was a French one, obviously. It's uh, made by the Society Pour l'Aviation et ses Derives. I probably butchered that, but we'll say SPAD. Um, yeah, it was an upgrade from the SPAD uh, VII or 7, <laughs> which in itself was a, a very good fighter for him. So, um, this was, it arrived in May 1917, I think it was, and small numbers have started to arrive. Uh, had an upgraded engine, um, it had uh, uh, twin Vickers MGs. But it did suffer some from some engine reliabilities, like my speech is suffering from reliability at times. Um, but it was still an extremely capable fighter, and people were pretty pretty happy with them. So, yeah, um, yeah, I think it was about 8,472 examples were produced um, by War's End, and it was they were being used by um, or even American uh, United States uh, what was it uh, Army Air Service. Uh, but primarily it was used by the French Air Force. So what we'll do is we'll get this bad boy open. Oh, they cut nice and easy. So we'll just have a look. No doubt we we'll another massive aircraft. <laughs> and well, that's a little, little tiny one. So yeah. So what we'll do is um, we'll get this. Get this open, it doesn't look like it has any tape, so it should be relatively easy to open. Try not to make it too squeaky for the video. Um, like the others, it's uh, got an easily removable metal stand there that you can make. And we'll just take this uh, little guy out, put that to the side, and have a look. So, as you can see, it's got some nice clear markings, looks very, very presentable. Stuff getting blown away by the wind because you know me, I like to do things outside so we can get some natural light on everything. And very nice colouring on it, it's got the French roundels on there, and um, no, it's a very, very nice looking unit. Um, it has the pilot, pilot inside if you want to have a good look there, if I can actually zoom it in. And yeah, yeah. Very nice looking plane. Um, yeah, this is another thirty-five dollar purchase, eBay special as as we like to do. So, um, but do the old sausage finger hand test and uh, see how it sits. As you can see, very 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 small aircraft, as most World War One aircraft seem to be, which I'm learning very quickly. Uh, as I usually say, definitely got to be brave to be in one of these, considering they didn't have parachutes. <laughs> So, the, um, like the others, the wheels do have some movement. Um, the propeller does spin if you feel like playing around with it. But no, in all, it's, um, it's a very nice unit. We'll just see if we can get some engine detail view on there for you. And it's not letting me focus in there. Probably because it's too small. Um, but no, no, definitely, yeah, happy for it. It's a, you know, a World War One thing, so no, definitely, you know, Look good in the shelf, presents nice, nice in colours, very pretty colours. So, if, uh, yeah, yeah. Got mount for the stand there, very clean, unlike the um, SC5, it had that big sort of knob that hang out. I don't know why that was on that one, it looked very, very crap like that, but the very clean undercarriage, like the Fokker DR1, nice and clean under there. But yeah, no, it's a good example, wire bracing and everything through it, as you can see, and just no way it looked. I could do that with my fingers, so as you can see that, it, I don't know who puts these together, but they have got some skills, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, as you can see, the uh, the old SPAD 13 looks looks nice, looks nice and neat, and relatively cheap price, there's $35 delivered, then it was a strain, delivered to my door, but no, that's a very nice unit, so yeah, if you want one, get one. Build up your Air Force, it'll look good sitting on the shelf. So, yeah, what I'll do is, per usual, I'll take some stills, some close ups, and uh, I'll check them on the end uh, of the video. So, yeah, give us a like if you enjoyed the video and if you found this uh, useful in any way, and feel free to comment. Uh, yeah, and just, yeah, 
trying to trying to fill in some holes some of the, the different aircraft that I'd like to sort of check out and review and hopefully it helps you guys uh, you know, decide if you want to purchase a similar type of thing so yeah once again thank you very much for watching and yeah cheers <laughs>